Well, guys, um, welcome to my first raw reaction of the much anticipated Lego Star Wars 2022 UCS Land Speeder. This is set number 75341, comes at 1,890 pieces, is recommended for ages 18 and up, and obviously is inspired from episode four. This was a free review copy courtesy of Lego that said did just get announced today so I could take a look at the box and show you guys my first draw reactions. But I also want to know what you guys think. What do you think down below in the comments? Let me know. I think I have a pretty good idea of how most of you are going to react likewise uh, with me. So this set will retail for $199. It comes out on May 1st. It is the May the 4th UCS set. May 1st is usually when Lego starts all of their promotions for May the 4th. So even though it isn't exactly on May the 4th, it is still this year's May the 4th UCS set every year Lego does one and this year they decided to go with the land speeder so I didn't actually film my raw reaction opening the box unfortunately I didn't get around to that but my initial response was wow that's it I think the set for me the big question here is is sort of why I mean as a younger fan of Star Wars this necessarily isn't the best thing I would want to come from a UCS set I know there are a bunch of A-Falls and adult collectors out there who do love the original trilogy and will definitely uh, be picking this one up but for me in terms of what i'm looking for from Lego star wars in terms of a bunch of other things this is just a miss uh for me there's so many other things i would have loved to see last year we had such an amazing lineup of ucs sets and this year is not starting off us uh, so well so we'll take a look at the back of the box here you guys should be able to see most if not all of it so now in terms of minifigures one of them is brand new the other one luke skywalker i can't tell from the box if he's brand new or not he looks pretty much the same uh, but c3po is brand new he does have arm printing and then he also has the gray leg printing on his right leg which is super cool so i guess that's a pretty cool bonus um to have in the set of course you have the plaque and then the stand um for the land speeder and then luke skywalker like i said i don't believe he is new he looks Pretty generic like any other sort of episode 4 Tatooine homestead Luke we've gotten so far now in the bottom here you do have the dimensions it looks like the land speeder is 19 inches long and then four inches high and then I'm assuming when you put it on the stand it's gonna be probably closer to uh, six or seven inches high along the bottom here you have images of the land speeder from episode 4 and also uh, some of the cool aspects of the set like this so I mean let's just generally talk about the build so far the build looks pretty solid the only major complaint I have up front is just the sheer amount of studs on the back Back and then right here in the front on um, the land speeder if I remember correctly from the movies is overall very smooth like pretty much anything else so I mean the studs obviously are something you can't avoid when it comes to Lego but I feel like the back section at the most has way too many studs obviously I will wait till I build it to get my own opinions some cool things though I did find I'm not sure if these are flex tubes right in the front of the land speeder here but there's some like metallic pipelines going throughout the entirety of the outside of it which looks really cool it looks like there are some nice stickers as well as a brand new cockpit piece shield which we've known for quite a while since the leaks came out and then the engines do look pretty good one looks more complete the other one looks a little bit more like broken down maybe like the mandalorian n1 starfighter like something like that but again i think the set for what it's worth it looks good and i feel like that's something we've known for a long time it's just the the, the idea of a land speeder is something that this community doesn't really take too well and i personally have no attachment to the land speeder i have no excitement for it the build itself looks pretty cool i am kind of excited to build it and then i also love the colors the mostly sort of like the sort of dark red and then this light nougat medium nougat color which we don't really see too often in lego star wars ucs sets so i am pretty excited about that but um yeah but that has been a uh, quick look preview at the ucs land speeder down below in the comments let me know what you guys thinking of this so far i mean honestly this is probably like a two out of ten for me i just don't really have a personal attachment to the land speeder but in terms of how it looks in terms of all that kind of stuff for the most part it looks pretty good and like i said we will be doing a review here on the channel so make sure you guys stay tuned in the comment section right now let me know what you guys thoughts in like a one sentence summation of what you think of the ucs land speeder let me know i remember when this rumor was coming out later last year i think it was like the fall of last year and it said we were getting a ucs land speeder and i was kind of hoping that was a joke but i guess here we are so until next time guys i'll see you later take it easy peace